boys and girls. It's Miss Mary Beth and Miss Jerry coming to you again from St. Patrick's Atrium. And today we are going to look at the city of Jerusalem. As you know, we're in the season of Lent and Jerusalem was a very important city in Jesus' life. So we are going to look at all the important parts of the city and then in another video, we will read to you the story. Okay, so first, let's take a look at our city of Jerusalem. As you can see, this is part of the wall. There was a wall around the entire city. This part of wall is special. We call this the Golden Gate. As you can see, this is gold. And this is the gate that Jesus entered the city through on the donkeys on Palm Sunday. So I'm gonna put that wall down and just remember Jesus would have come in through this side of the city, okay? Now, let's look at some of the land. As you can see, there's some low parts and then some higher parts of the city. The city also had waterways going through it it actually, this water you can see on top, but it would have actually been underground, okay? Here, and then outside, we've got the river again, all right? We also have some walking paths on the city. I'm not sure if you can see these, but they're like beige lines, and that's the paths the people would have taken walking through the city, in and out, um, doing their daily chores. All right, first off, let's do one of the water pools over here. This was just outside the city, and this is called the Sheep's Pool. This is where the sheep would have gathered to drink and cool off when it was hot while they were grazing. All right. There was another pool inside the city walls and this was what the people would use for their needs. Their washing, their drinking. So that is the people's pool right here. Next, bring this in here. And this is our beautiful temple. The people would have prayed here at the temple. And as you can see, this was the most important building in the city for the people, okay? Over here, we have a tree, and this is called the Mount of Olives. That was where Jesus and his disciples liked to go to pray. They'd have nice, peaceful time for prayer at the Mount of Olives. Okay, the next building we're gonna look at is a building called the Cenacle. This is where Jesus and his disciples celebrated the Last Supper, the Cenacle. After they had finished eating at the Cenacle, they would have gone over here to the Mount of Olives to pray. All right. The next building we're gonna look at is called the House of Caiaphas. And Caiaphas was the Jewish high priest. Jesus was taken to the House of Caiaphas during his trial with Pontius Pilate. Another building we have here is a big building. This would have been Herod's palace. Herod was the ruler of Judea. And Jesus was sent to Herod's palace by Pilate. And at Herod's palace, Herod wanted Jesus to perform a miracle for him. So that's what took place at Herod's palace. 
another building right here behind the temple is where Pontius Pilate would have been. It's also known as the Tower of Antonia. Praetorium is another word for Pilate's house. So it could have been known as the Praetorium or the Tower of Antonia. Over here is our model of what we call Calvary. Okay, that is the hill where Jesus had to carry his cross up to and where he was crucified, right here. Down below, and I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little hole here. And this would have been kind of a replica of the tomb of where Jesus was laid to rest after he was taken down from the cross. And we have a little stone there to represent the stone that was rolled away. Okay. So these are most of the important buildings in our city of Jerusalem. We have a candle here, and that's important because once Jesus rose from the dead, and the tomb, the stone was rolled away, and the tomb was found empty, and we know Jesus had risen, then we light a candle to show that the light of Christ is with us again and will always be with us. So that's pretty much everything about the city of Jerusalem, boys and girls. Um, as I said, now we're going to give you a little story about what actually took place with Jesus in those final days in Jerusalem. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.